sa ating pagtitipon, mahigit po tayo ngayong close to 10,000. Marami pa pong tao sa labas ang hindi nakakapasok. Kaya purihin po natin ang ating Panginoon ngayong araw na ito. Palakpangan natin ang Panginoon. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! 25 years and still counting. Ngunit hindi pa po natatapos ang Panginoon. Amen! isang maligaya at matagumpay na anibersaryo. At ngayon po, tama, let us be in a state of expectancy. Isa po ang natutunan ko sa Panginoon, allowing us to be in a difficult situation for Him to move in our lives. Pinapayagan po niya tayong dumaan sa mga pagsubok sa buhay para makakilos siya sa ating buhay. Pero, Pinapayagan din po ng Panginoong dumanas tayo ng mga imposibleng sitwasyon sa ating buhay upang iparanas ng Panginoon na siya ang tunay na Diyos. Wala pong ibang pangalan na ibinigay ang langit kundi ang pangalang Yesus. Kaya kung kani-kanino man tayo tumawag, hindi po tayo maririnig. Dahil ang tanging pangalan lamang po na dapat natin pinakamakapangyarihan sa lahat. Ang Diyos ng mga Diyos, ang Hari ng mga Hari, Panginoon ng mga Panginoon, walang iba kundi ang Diyos, ang Panginoong Heso Kristo. Sino itong Jesus na ito? Nagmagawa ng Himala. You need this God of Miracles. You need Jesus, the God of Miracles. Si Jesus, ang Diyos ng Himala. Is your God dead? No! Patay ba ang inyong Diyos? Raise up your hands please and everybody declare the absolute truth. Everybody say, Our God is not dead. Our God is not dead. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Over Taiwan. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Over China. Over China. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Over the Philippines. Over the Philippines. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Over Asia. Over Asia. Over America. Over America. Over Australia. Over Australia. Over Canada. The begotten Son of the Living God, the begotten Son of the Living God, is Lord. Is Lord all over the world? All over the world. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord. Para pagkapon natin ang pagnon. Amen. You may be seated, please. Ngayon po ay ang inyong team ay makikita sa Acts chapter four, verse thirty. Stretch out your hand to heal and perform miraculous signs and wonders to the name of your holy servant, Jesus. Everybody say, Si Jesus ay Diyos ng Himala. Diyos ng Himala ang ating Panginoong Jesus. Doon sa Matthew chapter 8, Matthew chapter 8, verse 23 to verse 27. Let us read some scriptures so that we can see clearly. Makita natin ang maliwanag pa sa sikat ng araw ang katotohanan tungkol sa Jesus na ito. Sa ibang bansa, kahit sa, lalo na sa Amerika, mayroong pelikula, Jesus Christ, the Superstar. Maraming tao ang tingin kay Jesus, Superstar lang. Sa ibang bansa, ang tingin ng tao kay Jesus, Propeta lang. Ang dami-daming mga 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 uh, impressions. Pero ang tunay na katotohanan ay hindi alam ng bilyong-bilyong tao. Kung malalaman lamang ng bilyong-bilyong tao sa balat ng lupa kung sino ang tunay, ano ang Jesus na ito? Saan siya nang galing? 
Sino siya? Bakit kinakailangang siya'y mamatay sa krus ng Kalbaryo at ibuhos ang kanyang banal at mga pangarilang dugo na exempted sa original sin because of His virgin birth? Basahin natin muna yung Matthew chapter 8, verse 23, verse 27. Everybody read. Then He got into the boat and His disciples followed Him. Without warning, a furious storm came up on the lake so that the waves swept over the boat, but Jesus was sleeping. Verse 25, natakot yung mga disipulo sa laki ng alon sa dagat. The disciples went and woke him, ginising siya, saying, Lord, save us, we are going to drown. He replied, you of little faith, why are you so afraid? Then he got up, Jesus got up and rebuked the winds and the waves and it was completely calm. Pinatigil ni Jesus ang, ang malakas na hangin at malalaking alon, ang storm. The men were amazed and asked, what kind of man is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. Listen carefully, please. Ang sabi ng mga kasama niyang disipulo, the men were amazed and asked, what kind of man is this? Even the winds and the waves obey Him. Kahit ang malakas na hangin, malaking alon sa dagat, tumigil, sumunod sa utos ng Jesus na ito. Naalala kong bigla yung Matthew 13, verse 53. Matthew 13, verse 53. Everybody read, When Jesus had finished these parables, He moved on from there. Verse 54. Coming to his hometown, he began teaching the people in their synagogue and they were amazed. Where did this man get this wisdom and this miraculous powers? Nagtataka sila, saan kumuha ang taong ito ng karunungan at kapangyarihan gumawa ng Himala? They asked, verse 55, isn't, isn't it this carpenter's son? Isn't his mother, mother's name Mary? And aren't his brothers James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas? Tingnan ninyo, ho. nagtataka yung mga kababaryo niya, mga kabarangay niya. Saan kumuha ang Isus na ito ng kapangyarihan at karunungan? Hindi ba anak lang siya ng karpinterong si Jose? Kilala si Jose na karpintero, St. Joseph. Hindi ba ang kanyang inay si Maria? Ang kanyang mga kapatid na lalaki, James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas, ang pangalan. Yung Judas dito, hindi si Judas Iscariot. Ito ang Judas na kapatid sa laman ni Jesus. Ano yung verse 50, 56? Verse 56 ng 13? Aren't all his sisters with us? Where then did this man get all these things? Ang kanyang mga kapatid na babae kasama natin lumaki sa ating baryo, sa ating barangay. Saan siya kumuha? Saan kumuha ang lalaking ito, ang taong ito ng ganitong mga bagay? Karunungan, kapangyarihan. Hindi nila, hindi nila kilala si Jesus eh. Napakaraming tao ngayon. Hindi kilala si Jesus. Ginagawa lang si Jesus superstar. Ginagawa lang si Jesus propeta. Kaya napakaraming tao eh, hindi kilala ang tunay na Jesus Christ. Kaya maging nung panahon ngayon, where did this, did this man get all these things? Gusto kong ang milyon-milyong ano, sumusubaybay sa live streaming na ito ngayon sa four corners of the earth ay marinig ang katotohanan ito. Bakit itong Jesus na ito ay Diyos ng Himala? Tingnan ninyo, seven year, 700 years before His birth, Isaiah, Prophet Isaiah already prophesied the coming of this Jesus. Let's read Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14. Therefore, the Lord Himself will give you a sign. The virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son and will call him Emmanuel. 700 years before the birth of Jesus Christ sa Jerusalem, sa Bethlehem, nagprophesy na. Si Prophet Isaiah, isang birhing babae, ay mag-aanak 
ng isang bata will give birth to a son. Magbibigay mga anak ng isang lalaki at tatawagin siyang Emmanuel. Anong ibig sabihin ng Emmanuel? Mamaya malalaman natin. Tingnan muna natin ang Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. For to us a child is born. To us a son is given. The government will be on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. Sino itong Jesus na ito? Na gumagawa ng Himala. Tingnan natin ang New Testament. Ito yung mga Old, Old Testament. Tingnan natin ang New Testament. Matthew chapter 1. Tingnan niyo ang Matthew chapter 1. Matthew chapter 1, beginning verse 18 up to verse 25, NIV version, please. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. His mother, Mary, was pledged to be married to Joseph. But before they came together, she was found to be with child through the Holy Spirit. Listen carefully, please. Si Blessed Mary at saka si Joseph engaged to be married. Hindi pa sila nagsasama bilang mag-asawa. At nung unang panahon, during their time, napakataas ng morality. No touch ni kamay ni Mary, hindi nahawakan ni, ni, ni Joseph. Pero biglang-bigla, nagdalang tao, si Blessed Mary. Biglang nasumpuang nagdadalang tao. E akala ni Joseph, nasa lisihan siya ng ibang lalaki. Basahin natin ang Matthew 1 verse 19. Because Joseph, her husband, was a righteous man and did not want to expose her to public disgrace, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. Listen carefully, please. Noong unang panahon, kapag ang isang dalaga ay biglang nabuntis, nagdalang tao ng walang asawa, dinadala sa plaza at binabato ng taong bayan hanggang mamatay. Ayaw ni Joseph na mangyari kay Blessed Mary yun. Mabait si Joseph. Marahil naawa siya at mahal na mahal niya si Maria. Pero pa, plano niya ngayon dahan-dahang hihiwala si Maria. He had in mind to divorce her quietly. Kala niya nasa lisensya na ibang lalaki. Sa verse 20 ng Matthew chapter 1, ano ang sabi ron? But after he had considered this, nung natutulog na si Joseph, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, Do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. Joseph, sabi ng Diyos through Angel Gabriel, huwag mong hiwala yan si Maria. Hindi ka nasalisya na ibang lalaki. Ang sanggol na sa kanyang sinabupunan ay bugtong na anak ng buhay na Diyos na may gawa ng langit at lupa na magkakatawang tao. What is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit, not from men. Kaya verse 21, anong sabi ron? She will give birth to a son and you are to give him the name Jesus. You have to give him the name Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. Wala kang mababasang libro sa aklat ng buha, sa buong mundo na mayroong isang taong may kapangyarihan mag-alis ng kasalanan. Naalala ko yung sinabi ni John the Baptist sa John chapter 1 verse 29 nang makita niya si Jesus sabi niya sa mga tao behold he is the he is uh, the son of God he is the son of God who will take away the sins of the world look the lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world ang kordero ng Diyos na mag-aalis ng kasalanan ng sanlibutan kaya makikita po natin balik tayo sa Matthew chapter 1 Tuloy natin, verse 22, Matthew chapter 1. And all this took place to fulfill what the Lord has said to the prophet. Verse 23, The virgin, everybody read, The virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son and they will call him Emmanuel. What's the meaning of Emmanuel? Which means God with us. If Jesus lives in your heart, God is with you. And if God is with you, 
Romans chapter 8 verse 31, If God is with you, who can be against you? If the God of miracles dwells in your heart, no one can fight you. Are you in crisis? You need this God of miracles. You need Jesus, the God of miracles. Si Jesus ang Diyos ng Himala. Ituloy natin yung basa kasi merong revelation dito eh. Verse 24, verse 24. When Joseph woke up, nung gumising na si Joseph, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him. Sinunod niya ang anghel na nagsalita sa kanya sa panaginip. And he took Mary home as his wife. Verse 25. But he had no union with her until she gave birth to a son and he gave him he gave him the name Jesus listen carefully please nung magsama si Mary at si Joseph bilang mag-asawa ang utos ng Diyos kay Joseph don't touch her never have any sexual relationship with Mary wait for the birth of Jesus bayaan nating may panganak muna si Jesus until Jesus was born. At nang may panganak na si Jesus, bigyan siya ng pangalang Jesus. Sapagat na ibig sabihin ng Jesus, He will save. The name Jesus means salvation. Salvation from sins. Salvation from the punishment of sins. Salvation from the curse of sickness and disease. Salvation from the curse of poverty. Salvation from all curses inherited by mankind because of the original sin of Adam and Eve. Kaya nagkaroon sila ngayon ng anak. Binles sila ng Diyos. Dahil sa pagsunod ni Maria at ni Joseph, ni Blessed Mary at ni Joseph, sa plano ng Diyos sa kaligtasan ng sangkatauhan, na kahit mahirap, pumayag si Blessed Mary magdalang tao dahil siya ang pinili ng Diyos para sa pagdadalang tao ni Jesus. Maraming pilosopong religious groups. Ah, si Yeso Cristo, tao lang. Hindi Diyos yan. Eh, tao lang. Nagugutom, nauuhaw. Eh, nagkatawang tao nga eh. Ang Diyos ba? Kung gusto ng, kat- ng Diyos magkatawang kabayo, mapi- mer- mapipigil bang ba Diyos? Hindi. Kaya ng Diyos magkatawang kabayo. Kaya ng Diyos magkatawang kalabaw. Kaya ng Diyos magkatawang ibon. Nagkatawang tao ang bugtong na anak ng Diyos sapagat ang tao ang ililigtas ng Diyos sa punishment ng sin sa dagat-dagat ang apoy ng impyerno. Very simple. Kaya nga, nung mamatay si Jesus sa krus ng Kalbaryo, alam ng marami ito sa Christian world, Father, it is finished. Naganap na yung mukusya at namatay. Naganap niya ang kanyang mission to save, to heal, to deliver, to bless. Nagawa niya ang kanyang mission. Yung dugo ni Jesus na yun, listen carefully please, ito ang pinakamahalagang bahagi ng aking teaching ngayong araw na ito. Yung banal na dugo ni Jesus is the one and only blood in heaven and in earth that is exempted from original sin. Kayo at ako may original sin. Nung magsama ang ating ina at ama bilang mag-asawa, after nine months na manufacture tayo sa sinapupunan ng ating ina at lumabas tayo bilang sanggol, minana natin ang karakteristics ni Adan at ni Eva including the sinful nature, ang tawag doon, original sin. Naka-welding yun sa ating espiritu at kaluluwa. Hindi mawawala yun. Umating ka man ang lahat ng reliyon, mag-member ka man sa lahat ng reliyon sa barat ng lupa, naka-welding yung sinful nature na yun. Ang makapag-aalis lang doon, yung sinabi ni Jesus sa John 3.3, 3, unless a man is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Kaya madalas kong sabihin, Lahat ng reliyon, sapian mo. Impyerno ka pa rin. Sumama ka sa JIL Church na walang itinatas ng reliyon kundi si Jesus. Impyerno ka pa rin. Ang kailangan is not religion but relation. Relation. Very simple. Biblical. E paano tayo magkakaroon ng relasyon? Tingnan natin ang 1 John chapter 5, verse 7. King James Version Bible. For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, 
the Word, and the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit. And these three are one. These three are one. Meron na record sa langit. God the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit or the Holy Ghost. At silang tatlo ay iisa. Ito yung Holy Trinity. Listen carefully please, beloved. Lahat ng religious group sa Barat ng Lupa na hindi naniniwala sa Holy Trinity ay kultong relihiyon. Masakit pakinggan, ito'y kultong relihiyon. Gumagamit ng Biblia, gumagawa ng mga doktrina ng tao, pero hindi naniniwala sa Holy Trinity. Kapag hindi naniniwala sa Holy Trinity, kalimutan nyo na yan. Hanapin nyo ang Diyos kahit nag-iisa kayo. Pag binuksan ninyo ang salita ng Diyos, ang Biblia, at nanalangin kayo, Holy Spirit, bigyan mo ako ng patnubay, ng guidance, ng enlightenment, makikilala nyo ang Diyos na buhay. Palapakan natin sandali ang Panginoon. Amen. Hallelujah. Again, 1 John chapter 5, verse 7, For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, or the Holy Spirit, and these three are one. Sino yung Father? Of course, God the Father. Sino yung Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit. Eh, sino yung word, capital W, capital W, emphasizing the deity or divinity of this being called word. Sino yung word na yun? John chapter 1, verse 1. Everybody read John chapter 1, verse 1. Yes. Everybody read. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God. And the Word was, and the Word was, the Word was, the Word was God. The Word was God. Verse 1 yan. Tingnan niyo yung verse 2 and verse 3. Everybody read. The same was in the beginning with God. Verse 3. All things were made by Him. And without Him, was not anything made that was made. This Word who was with God and was God is the co-creator of God the Father and God the Holy Spirit. Because all things were made by Him. And without Him, was not anything made that was made. You can also read this in the book of Colossians. Pero for the meantime, John chapter 1 verse 3, itong Word who was God, siya ang dahilan, all things, lahat ng bagay, nilalang niya. Kung wala siya, walang anumang bagay na malalalang. Eh sino nga ba itong word na ito? Basahin niyo ang verse 14. Verse 14, the God who was word. Verse 1, verse 14. Everybody read. The word was made flesh and dwelt among us. We beheld His glory, the glory as the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. John 1, 14. E sino yun? Sa verse 12, John 1, verse 12. Yet to all who receive Him, to those who believe in His name, He gave, He gave the right to become children of God. Lahat ba ng tao ay children of God? Hindi. Only those who believe Him. Only those who receive Him. Receive the immigration paper. The adoption paper. As citizens of heaven. Itong relationship. Kapag si Jesus ay tinanggap mo bilang tagapagligtas, Panginoon at Diyos ng iyong buhay ng totohanan. Hindi true lip service. Bibigyan ka ng karapatang maging anak ng Diyos. You will receive more than American citizenship, more than Canadian citizenship. You will receive citizenship in heaven. You will be given the right to become children of God. Palapakan natin ang malakas ang Diyos na buhay. Woo! Glory to God. Kaya mga magulang at kapatid, Unti-unti nababanaaga natin o nakikita natin. Itong team natin sa Silver Anniversary or 25th Anniversary ng JL Taiwan, Jesus 
ang Diyos ng Himala. This is biblical, absolutely founded, not on superstition, not on tradition, but biblical. And Jesus said in John 8, 31 and 32, If you continue in my word, indeed you are my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Palakbangan natin ang Panginoon. Yes, Lord. Amen, Lord. Hallelujah. Ngayon, si Jesus ay Diyos anak na nagkatawang tao. Kaya, ang tawag sa kanya ay Emmanuel, one of the names, Emmanuel, God with us. Kapag si Jesus ay nasa puso mo, God is with you. And if God is with you, who can be against you? Ako'y magbabangas sa isang illustration bago ako magpray ng Himala. Ito'y true story. 1950s nangyari ito sa Korea. Ang Korea ay divided into North and South. Nung magtagumpay ang mga revolutionary communists sa North, mayroong isang grupo ng mga tao tumatakbo patungo dun sa boundary ng North and South Korea. Nahuli yung mga tao. Iba pinatay right there and there. Iba dinala sa concentration camp. Isa lang ang taong naligtas. Nakasuod siya dun sa alambre. Yung tinatawag sa na 38 parallel. Yung naghihiwalay sa North at South Korea. Nakasuod yung ina. Tangitang ngayon kanyang sanggol. Napunta siya sa lupang South Korea, democratic country. At naglakad siya patungo dun sa siyudad ng Korea. Inabot siya ng gabi. Humimlay silang mag sa isang ilalim ng tulay. Nung panahon na yun, winter time, winter time. Naranasan nyo ng winter time dito, ano? Winter time. Ultimong karsada, puno ng yelo. Ultimong punong kahoy, balot na balot ng snow. At doon sila humimlay. Sabi nung ina sa sarili, dito na kami himlay. Bukas na lang pag kinabukasan, muli kami, lumuli siyang lalakad. Sila mag-ina patungo sa siyudad ng South Korea. Tutaligtas na sila sa paghabol ng communist revolutionary group. Nung hating gabi, umihi pang mabigat na malakas na hangin. Taglay ang sobrang lamig ng winter time sa Korea. Umiyak yung kanyang sanggol. Ang ginawa ng ina para mapatahan ang, 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 ang bata. Kasi malambot lang ang laman ng bata. Hinubad niya ang kanyang balabal. Binalot yung bata at niyakap ng ina. Tumigil sa kaiyak yung bata. Nung madaling araw na umihip naman ang isang malakas na hangin, mas malamig ang taglay na lamig sapagkat yung ilalim ng tulay inabot na rin ng snow. Hindi malaman ng ina ang gagawin. Ang ginawa ng ina, hinubad na niyang lahat ng natitira niyang damit. Binalot yung kanyang anak na bata at dinaganan ng kanyang hubad na katawan. Kinabukasan, mayroong mag-asawang misyonero nakasakay sa isang jeep. Dumadaan sa ibabo ng tulay. Narinig nila yung iyak ng sanggol. Huminto sila. Pinuntahan nila kung saan yung sanggol na umiiyak. Nakita nila sa ilalim ng tulay. Balot na balot ng damit yung bata. Iyak ng iyak. Katabi ang kanyang ina. Malamig ng bangkay. Nilibing nila yung bangkay ng ina. Inampun yung bata sa kanilang mission house. Lumaki yung bata. At the age of 10 or 12 years old, I just read this as true story many years ago. Ang sabi ng magulang, anak, hindi ka namin tunay na anak. Napulot ka lang namin sa ilan ng tulay. Yung ina mo ay hubad, hubad binalot sa iyo ang kanyang balabal at damit para hindi ka mamatay sa lamig. Nilibing namin. Sabi ng bata, Tay, pwede po bang samahan niyo ako doon sa ilalim ng tulay kung saan niyo ako natagpuan? Sabi anak, sa ilalim ng tulay na ito, dito ka namin natagpuan. Biglang lumundag yung bata. Nagtatakbo. 
pababaron sa ilan ng tulay. Pagkatapos, pinupunit yung kanyang damit. At nang punit na yung kanyang damit, ay nagpagulong-gulong dun sa ibabaw ng snow ng yellow. Sinusuntok yung yellow. Inay, inay, bakit mo binigay pang yung buhay? Sana binabayan mo na akong mamatay. Mga magulang at kapatid, itong true story na ito ay reflection ng supreme sacrifice ni Jesus sa cross of Calvary. Hindi niya hinubad ang kanyang damit. Hindi niya hinubad ang kanyang balabag. Ang hinubad niya ay ang kanyang mga katangian bilang Diyos na sinasamba ng milyong anghel sa langit. Nagkatawang tao siya sapagat gayon na lamang ang pag-ibig ng Diyos sa mga salanang sanlibutan. Nagawa niyang ibigay ang kanyang bugtong na anak, John 3.16. Upang ang sino man na sa kanya ay sumampalatay, huwag nang mapahamak, kundi magkaroon ng buhay na walang hanggan. Maraming tao hindi alam itong kasaysayang ito. Binabaliwala nila ang supreme sacrifice ni Jesus. If God did not spare His own Son, but Him gave, but gave Himself for you and me, will He not give all things to you freely with Him? Kung hindi na pagkait ng Dios ama ang kanyang anak na irigalo sa iyo ng unang unang biyernes santo, ano tindi niya may bibigay ng lahat ng bagay na kailangan mo sa mundong ito nang walang bayad na kasama sa manya? Are you ready to receive God's miracle? To mayo tayong lahat sa dali. Niling kong lahat ay yumuko sandali at gusto kong awitin natin, simpleng awit lang. Simpleng awit lang. Alam kong may magagawa ang Diyos. Lumapit tayo sa Panginoon. Alam kong may magagawa ang Diyos. Ano man ang problema mo? Problema sa iyong empl employers, problema sa, sa magulang, sa kapatid, sa anak, sa pamilya, sa isang minamahal, any kind of problem. Tandaan natin ang sabi ng Diyos kay Smith Wigglesworth. God's willingness to answer man's prayer is even far, far greater than, than the willingness of man to pray. Hallelujah. Sumunod kayo sa mekling padalang ito. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I believe in my heart. I believe in my heart. You became man. And you died on the cross of Calvary for my salvation. Panginoong Jesus, patawarin mo ako sa lahat-lahat ng kasalanan. Linisin mo ako hugasan ng banal mong dugo na dumaloy sa krus ng Kalbaryo. Pumasok ka sa aking puso. Tinatanggap kitang tunay bilang tagapagligtas, bilang Panginoon, dakilang manggagamot, bilang tunay na Diyos ng aking buhay. Puspusin mo ako ng iyong Espiritu Santo. Tulungan mo akong mabuhay, naglilingkod sa iyo ng may katapatan. Salamat, Panginoon. Ako nalang po ang mananalangin para sa Himala. Be ready. You are now qualified to receive miracles. Why? Because you are a child of God now. You already received the right to become children of God. And you can call now God as your own Father. Hindi tayo katulad ng iba tumatawag sa Diyos ng Ama namin. Ama namin, sumasalangit ka, nakikiama, hindi naman anak. Matapos natin tanggapin ang bagtong na anak ng Diyos, binigyan tayo ng karapatang maging anak ng Diyos, the right to become children of God we can go into inner chamber of God the Father and get what we want from our Father. Bago yun, let's sing that song, Alam kong may magagawa ang Diyos. Pakita natin sa Diyos, meron tayong faith, sufficient faith to get blessings and miracles from Him. Let's sing that song, Alam kong may magagawa ang Diyos. In English, I know God is able, but in Tagalog, let us just sing in Tagalog, Alam kong may magagawa ang Diyos. Kung may mabigat kayong problema, yung napakabigat na, yung lang mapabigat, yung mag-anggaang, huwag na kayong umalis sa inyong upuan. Yung napakabigat, nasaan man kayong lugar sa oras na ito, humakbang kayo ng may pananampalataya patungo dito sa harapan. A little walk in faith, come forward and we will help you in this special prayer for your miracles. Alam kong may magagawa ang Diyos. Alam kong may magagawa Lumapit tayo sa Panginoon. Huwag natin siyang ikahiya. Hallelujah. Alam kong may magagawa ang Diyos. Ang 
Kung ako'y magtatapak sa Kanya ay susunod, sa Kanya ay susunod, alam kong may magalawang Diyos. Sa mahinang tinig, alam kong may magagawang Diyos. Just above the whisper. Yung mayroong kabigatan sa buhay. Lumapit tayo kay Jesus. Sabi niya sa Matthew 11:28, Anyone who labor, who is heavily laden, heavily burdened, come to me and I will give you rest. Sino man ang nabibigat ang lubha, may pasaning mabibigat na problema, lumapit lamang kay sa akin, sabi ni Jesus. Bibigyan mo kayo ng kapahingahan, tagumpay ng buhay. Matthew 11, verse 28. Hallelujah. Huwag natin siyang nagkahiya. Hindi niya tayo kinahiya na mamatay siya sa krus ng Kalbaryo. One more time. Sing it prayerfully. Alam kong may magagawa ang Diyos. Release your faith by walking with faith. Coming down with faith. Yes. Alam kong may magagawa ang Diyos. Hallelujah. Kung ako'y magtatapat sa Kanya'y susunod, magtatapat sa Kanya'y susunod. Alam kong may magagawa ang Diyos. For the last time, without any instrument, just the singing, just above the whisper, for the last time, alam kong may magagawa ang Diyos. Open your mouth. Yes. Sing it prayerfully with faith from your heart. Walang lumapit sa Diyos na Kanyang ipinahiya. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Nilalapit ko sa iyo ang mga lalaki at babaeng may kanya-kanyang problema. Mula doon sa third floor, second floor, dito sa ground floor, hindi man sila lumapit, Panginoon. Alam na alam mo ang kanilang problema. Mga taong may mabigat na problema na nagsilapit dito sa harapan, hindi kayo kinahiya. Sabahit ka may sabi ang magmakahiya sa iyo sa harap ng tayo, kayo hiya mo pagdating sa langit. Hallelujah. Uh, for the last time, for the last time, just above the whisper, sa mas mata, ma, mababang tinig. Alam kong may magagawa Kung kayo may sakit, may karamdaman, ipatong ang isang kamay ninyo sa bahagi ng katawan nyo, may sakit, may karamdaman. Kung ang problema ninyo, hindi lang, hindi naman sakit, problema sa kabuhayan, sa magulang, sa kapatid, sa anak, sa isang minamahal, o problema sa employer, o any kind of problem under the sun, taas lang ang isang kamay. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Lord, tinataas namin sa iyong pangangailangan ng bawat lalaking narito. Yes, Lord. Mga anak mo sila. Sinuko nila ang buhay nila sa iyo. Hindi ka nila ikinahiya. Now, be ready. Be ready to receive your healings and miracles. Be ready to receive all kinds of blessings. Panginoon, sinabi mo, sino man ang lumalapit sa iyo sa anumang paraan na hindi mo itataboy. Ikaw ang nakababatid ng problema ng iyong mga anak. Maliit o malaking problema. Ikaw may sabi sa Biblia. Bilang na bilang mo ang dami ng buhok sa bawat ulo ng tao. You know the accurate number of hairs on every head of every human being on the surface of the earth. Your power is awesome. You hung at the earth upon nothing. You are the God who created the heavens and the earth out of nothing save by your word. Hindi ka nagbabago kahapon, ngayon magpakailanman. At ikaw nagsabing walang lumalapit sa iyo na iyong itataboy. Tinataas ko ngayon sa iyo ang pangangailangan ng bawat lalaki at babaeng dumalo dito sa Silver Anniversary. 
Thanksgiving sa anniversary ng JIL Taiwan. Ano man ang kanilang mga problema mula dito sa ground floor, sa second floor, sa third floor ng stadium na ito, Panginoon. Buksan mo ang langit sa kanila. Iunat mo, Panginoon, ang iyong mahabang kamay. Hallelujah. Iunat mo yung mapaghimalang kamay. Patungan mo sila ng iyong mapagpala, mapaghimalang kamay. Padaluin mo ang re resurrection power of the Holy Spirit that raised up Jesus from the dead. Lord, quicken, quicken their mortal bodies, Lord. Take away sicknesses, diseases. Take away, take away sicknesses, diseases. Alisin mo ang sakit karamdaman. Binigyan mo sila ng kaligtasan ng kanilang spiritual kaluluwa. Binigyan mo sila ng kaligtasan sa katawan. I rebuke diseases. I rebuke sicknesses. I rebuke even cancerous diseases. I rebuke all the works of the devil. I cancel them by the holy, holy blood of Jesus shed in Calvary. I rebuke them and destroy by the anointing power of the Holy Ghost. Receive, receive, receive the anointing power of the Holy Spirit that destroys the yoke of the devil, that destroys the works and the wiles of the devil. Receive, receive curse of sicknesses, curse of poverty, curse of bankruptcy, all oppressions, all spirits of discouragement, all the works of the devil. Devil, you are destroyed now. You are destroyed. You are defeated by the holy blood of Jesus shed in Calvary. We rebuke you. We rebuke you now in Jesus' name. Problema sa employers, problema sa trabaho, sa hanap buhay, sa kabuhayan. I sabi ni Jesus, if you have paid as big as a mustard seed, you can command the mountains of problems to be removed and be cast into the sea. If you believe in your heart and you do not doubt, you will have what you say. You will have what you say. They, there are miracles in your mouth if you believe. I therefore rebuke mountains of problems. Mountains of problems in the lives of all these people of God. We rebuke you. We command you to bow down at the name of Jesus and be cast into the sea. Be cast into the sea. Receive, receive God's solutions to your problems now. O yung mahal sa buhay. Kinakatawan niyo, mahal sa buhay sa Pilipinas. Lord, abutin mo ang pamilya, pamilya ng iyong mga anak sa Pilipinas. Ano man ang problema nila roon? Problema, sakit, karamdaman. Tanggalin mong sakit, karamdaman sa kanilang mahal sa buhay, sa kanilang asawa, magulang, kapatid, anak. Tanggalin mo ang problema sa kanilang kabuhayan. Tanggalin mo lahat ang problema sa kanilang pamilya, sa mga pangyari, ang pangalan ng Panginoong Yesus. At mapatunahin nila ang Panginoong Yesus, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, is the God of miracles. Thank you, Lord. Open the windows of heaven. Release, Lord. Release. The surging resurrection power of Jesus, the same spirit that raised up Jesus from the dead. Ang may problema sa employers. Kung ang employers ay medyo abusive, ang employers ay, ay, ay hindi giver. Change the mind and heart of the employers of your people. Bless, bless the employers. Bless the employers so that they will bless their employees. They will bless their household helpers in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Basbasan at pagpalain mo ang mga employers ng iyong mga anak. Bless the employers of your people so that they can also be used in blessing, blessing your people. In the mighty holy name of Jesus, ano man ang, ang, ang unspoken prayer request nila, ikaw nakababatid. Lord, supply their needs according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus and grant the desires of their heart even beyond the desires of their heart. At ngayon, Panginoon, yung mga may sakit na kailangan ng anointing oil oil, the pastors here are here. Yung mga ang kailangan ng miracle healing, kangina nagpray na ako, receive it, say thank you Lord, I believe, I believe I receive. Mark 11:24, Jesus said, therefore whatsoever you desire when you pray, when you pray, believe that you receive, believe that you receive, believe that you receive, and you shall have them. Everybody say yes I believe. Yes I believe. Yes, I believe. Kung kailangan nyo ng anointing oil, lumapit kayo sa mga pastors, the anointing oil is anointed to manifest your complete miracle healings. Hallelujah. Pastors, act accordingly. Hallelujah, hallelujah. By the wounds of Jesus, you were healed. By the wounds of Jesus, you were healed. Hallelujah. Yung hindi naman kailangan ng anointing oil. Everybody say, thank you, Lord. I believe. I believe. I already, I already receive. I already receive God's answers to all my needs, to, all my, to my prayers. I receive, Lord. I receive, Lord. 
In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So you hindi kailangan ng anointing oil. You can go back to your seats and begin to thank the Lord. Say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father God. I believe I receive. I believe I receive my miracles. I believe I receive already my salvation, my healings, my deliverance, my financial victory, my promotion. Yes, I receive, I receive even prosperity. Hallelujah. I believe I receive. Yes, receive, receive, receive the anointing power of the Holy Ghost. Receive the anointing power of the Holy Spirit. Receive, receive, receive. Just anoint them. With faith, release your faith. Receive the anointing power of the Holy Spirit that carries all kinds of miracles and blessings. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, amen, amen. We command the mountains of problems to be removed. We command the mountains of problems to be removed and be cast into the sea. Receive now, without doubt, your salvation, your healings, your deliverance, your blessings from the Lord. Receive even your needed miracles. Believe in your heart. Begin to thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Nagawa mong ibigay. Nagawa mong irigalo sa akin ang iyong buktong nana. Ano't hindi mo may bibigay ang lahat ng aking kailangan na kasama-sama niya. Ito ang pangako mo sa Romans chapter 8 verse 32. If God did not spare His own Son, but gave Himself for you and me, will He not give all things to you freely with Him? Napakagandang revelation sa pangako ng Panginoon. Receive your victory. Receive your victory. You are no longer defeated. You have already defeated the devil, the mastermind of destruction. The mastermind of bankruptcy, the mastermind of sickness and disease. You already received the victory of Jesus on the cross of Calvary. Receive, begin to thank the Lord, begin to praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Before I close my role, releasing blessings, yung mga nasa third floor, nasa second floor, just to assure you na kilalang-kilala kayo ng Diyos. And God is not limited by distance, space, and even time. Listen carefully, please. I will release a special blessings to all of you in the name of Jesus, only in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Remember, God is not limited by distance, space, and even time. Kahit hindi kayo nakalapit dito sa harapan. Naalala nyo ang Matthew chapter 8 verse 8. Matthew chapter 8 verse 8. Lumapit ang centurion, ay military leader kay Jesus. Lord, mahabag ka sa aking katulong, naghihinga Lucia. Sabi ni Jesus, okay, puntahan natin ang bahay mo at pagkagalingin ko ang katulong mo. Ang sabi ng centurion, no, 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 Lord. You don't need to come to my house. The roof of my house is not worthy for you to come. Speak only thy word. Speak only thy word. I know my servant will be healed. Nagulat si Jesus. Ang sabi niya, wala siyang nakitang ganun pananampalataya maging sa Israel. Umuwi ka na. Tinanggap mo na ang iyong sinasampalatayanan. At alam niyo nangyari? Nang dumating ang sinturin sa bahay niya, yung naghihingalo niyang katulong ay malusog. Nakatayo, galing na galing sa sakit karamdaman. Pinagaling ni Jesus at a distance, at a distance. Because God is not limited 
by distance, in space, and even time. Lord, lay your hands upon those people na hindi nakalapit dito sa harapan, sa third floor, sa bleachers, sa second floor, at sa labong ground na ito, Panginoon. Ano man ang kanilang pangailangan. I'm rebuking all hindrances. I'm rebuking all obstacles. I'm rebuking doubts and fears which are the enemies of faith. I rebuke them all. I cancel them by the holy, holy blood of Jesus. And in, Je in Jesus' mighty holy name, I'm releasing unto them all the benefits of Calvary. In Jesus' name, receive for yourself and for your family. Hallelujah. Receive the miracle of salvation, the miracle of healings, the miracle of deliverance, the miracle of financial victory, the miracle of promotion. Receive, receive even the spirit of prosperity and victory in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen, Lord. Amen. Everybody say, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I believe I receive. I believe I receive. I believe I receive. Remember what Jesus said in Mark 11, 24. Therefore, whatsoever you desire, when you pray, when you pray, believe that you receive. Believe that you receive and you shall have them. Believe first before you can receive. Amen? Amen. Raise up your hands and everybody say, Thank you, God. Thank, Thank you, Lord God. Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I believe. I believe. I receive. I receive. My blessings. My blessings. My miracles. My miracles. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I believe. I believe. I receive. I receive. Your answers. Your answers. To all my needs. To all my needs. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh, glory to God. Believe that you receive. Confess victory. To get a touch from the Lord is so real. If you draw nigh to him, he will draw nigh to you. If you draw nigh to me, Amen. He will draw nigh to you to get a touch from the Lord is so real. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Listen carefully, please. Sa Luke chapter 10, yung 70 disciples ay bumalik kay Jesus. Lord, we obeyed your command, your great commission. Pati mga demonyo, sumusunod sa utos namin sa pangalan mo. Sabi ni Jesus, Rejoice! Not only because the devils or the demon spirits are obeying your command in my name. Rejoice! Not only because they... You can cast out devils. Rejoice because your name is registered in heaven and you receive eternal life. Rejoice because you receive eternal life. The greatest miracle is the gift of eternal life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved.
talaga naman pong uh, naranasan namin ng mga, mga himala, mga papapala. Overflowing na, na joy yung nararamdaman namin na naging victorious yung 25th year anniversary ng JIL Taiwan. Sobrang tamin ng tao. Grabe. Pero nandun talaga na ma makikita mo na yung pagkilos ng Lord na hindi natin akalain na sobrang-sobrang tao na Pilipino dito sa Taiwan na nakakilala sa Lord. Maraming ginawa ang Lord sa buhay ko na nakapagpabago sa isip ko. Nung nabago niya ako from what I am before na ngayon, talagang sobrang willing ako ibigay kay Lord lahat yung lahat ng lakas ko. Kami pa pamilya po na nandito po, praise God po kasi naranasan po namin yung, yung pagmamahal po at saka uh, tunay na kaligayahan po talaga na naranasan namin yung himala po sa buhay po namin. Yung mga, mga himala niya sa buhay ko, dati po kasi ako ano, uh, bisexual. Uh, ako po yung binago talaga ng Panginoon. Na, uh, yung dating ako, ibang iba na po ngayon. Uh, sobrang ano po, nagpapasalamat talaga ako sa Panginoon. Sa creative at involved sa media, uh, laging masaya na may involved sa program ng JL Taiwan kasi una-una for me, ang daming space to be creative, napakadaming tao, generous ang ilaw, ang ganda na kanilang mga production. But personally, it's always uh, a blessing na makita ang, ang ginagawa ng Lord sa isang ministeryo na katulad nito kasi kakaiba yung uh, growth ng Taiwan um, uh, na makikita natin na although challenging ang status ng mga nagtatrabaho ng Pilipino rito sa Taiwan, pinakita talaga ng Lord na walang imposito sa kanya dahil nakita natin for the past 25 years ang laki-laki na ng JL Taiwan and isa itong inspirasyon sa akin at isa itong pagpapala sa akin personally. JL Taiwan ay paano naman ang laging pagkakas at malaking bahagi ng buhay ko ay talagang pinago at nagkaroon ng direksyon hindi ko ma-imagine na sa nakakulong church o pamilya ng pamilya. Talagang very victorious. Ang ganda ng misahe ni Brother Hedy. At talagang binigyan niya din na ang kalitasan ng tao. Ang Diyos lang talagang pwede makakagawa. Siya lang ang may, may kapangyarihan talaga ng kumuha ng ibala sa buhay natin. Hindi ko mapigilan ng umiyak no? all throughout at bumuluha ako. Especially during uh, the worship time nung kinakanta yung Diyos ng Himala and during the preaching ni Brother Eddie at saka doon sa, sa ministerial time and really the Lord ay talagang faithful siya sa ministerium ito at talagang uh, inipun ng Panginoon yung mga tao kanina and I believe lahat sila'y pinagali ng Panginoon at uh, magmamanifest talaga and even now nagmanifest na yung Diyos ng Himala sa kanilang mga buhay. Kaya all the glory belongs to our God. Happy anniversary, J.I.M. Taiwan! Hallelujah! Praise the Lord!